Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your sleep settings on Mac OS, um, the Sierra version 10.12 at the time of this recording. So whether or not you might be running a laptop or a tablet and you're trying to conserve power at certain points, you want to sleep your computer so it'll go back to the login screen. So if you leave your computer unattended for an extended period of time, you don't just want to keep the display open. Um, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to just jump right into it and we're going to start by selecting the Apple icon in the top left corner of the screen. And then we're going to left click on System Preferences. Should be the second option down from the top on this drop down menu. Now that we are underneath System Preferences, we want to left click on Energy Saver, on this Energy Saver icon with a light bulb at the top. So now there's two different areas that we can kind of dig deeper into. The first would be to when the computer sleeps, and the second would be when the display sleeps. So two different things. The display, it'll just go off into screensaver mode. Computer sleep means it actually goes into sleep mode entirely, and then you'd have to more than likely enter a password to live back into the computer. And we see that there's a couple other options further down that we can put the hard disk to sleep whenever possible and wake up for Ethernet network access. So if you suddenly plug into an Ethernet connection, it will wake your computer up from sleep mode. And right now, computer sleep and display sleep is set by default to the same time intervals. It appears it's about 12 minutes for both. You can set it as high up as never for both, or you can do three hours, an hour, 15 minutes, or one minute. I think it's pretty good where it is, but if for some reason it's kind of annoying you, you could always drag it over to one hour and you can see on the top it'll tell you what the interval is. So each line looks like it represents about five minutes. And then once you're done doing that, it'll say your computer may use more energy with these settings, especially if you move it to the right, which I'm assuming most of you guys probably are going to be doing. So you can just click on OK to save your change. Um, if you do make a mistake and you want to change it back and maybe you forgot where it was positioned on this graphic, you can left click on this restore defaults button which will restore them back to their original position. And you can also set your computer to wake up or go into sleep mode at a certain time every day. I don't know how practical this would be. So if you wanted to start up every weekday and then you can actually use your keyboard and type in a time so that the computer is ready for you when you come over to it. I mean you could definitely do that as well. It's a little bit beyond the scope of what we were going to be talking about in this video, but nonetheless I felt like showing it. So I do hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.